what is up guys good morning oh good morning girls you got me some breakfast or what <laughs> Only one egg this morning, but I'll take it. We've been letting these goats free range. Come on, girls. We need to go feed the pigs. Hey, come on. Oh, you're underneath the deck? We just been uh, leaving the gate open for them. They are amazing goats. Look at them. They just take care of themselves. They'll run back over there. Uh, we are trying to get the barn and everything finished up, build the stalls, all that. But today we got to work on the fence, get that knocked out. So let's go feed the pigs first. Breakfast. You hungry, boy? Go on in with them. There you go. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, these goats know what's up. So go ahead and get them fed. We don't feed them uh, pig feed anymore because the goats get in the pig feed and that's not good. Oh, what's up, Chicky? Hey, there you go, look at that. You a good girl, huh? Here, come here. There you go, I'll leave that there for you. Come on, girl. Oh, what a hurt. Come on. All right, guys, so got them fed. They're doing their thing. Uh, we'll get them some water here off camera. Don't need to show you that. But uh, let's start on the fence over there. We got to get them moved. This has been their home for the last couple of months. But now, let's move them over to the new barn. Uh, now that we had Outlaw come out and uh, clear all the stumps in the ground, we can actually use our side-by-side, -side, which is awesome because this stuff gets heavy. As you guys can tell, we're using eight-foot T-posts. I'm gonna drive them in the ground, hopefully two feet, to have a six foot fence so it'll match the front. We are making this part as tall as we can because we have a cow that loves to jump. knock these little chainsaws but I keep it in the side-by-side -side and four-wheeler or whatever and I end up using this more than I do the uh, gas-powered one I would recommend getting something like this a little battery powered one just to keep with you it works pretty freaking good all right guys so we got the uh, string line going all the way and if you've been around a minute, you know we had an issue with our pond, what we thought was our, uh, our uh, fence line. I don't know how well you'll be able to tell, but we thought it was here, but it's actually here. So our pond is a little bit over the fence. We've already talked to neighbors. They don't mind. They said, hey, our horse might come over and drink out of it whenever we uh, move on here. For now, let's put in the T-post, drink a lot of water. Whew. All right, so we're trying to mark every 10 feet. That way we can put a uh, T-post in the ground. It's gonna stick a stick. Let's see if this works. All right, no need to even paint the ground or nothing. Just throw a flag. These do not have to be exact. You're just putting T-post in.
All right, now that uh, Danielle's out here, you guys saw we painted up the uh, post and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and knock in the T-posts I couldn't get. We're gonna finish welding down there. We're gonna pull fence. We're gonna get this part done today. Yes. Gotta do it before it rains. <laughs> Oh, I like this dirt right here. All right, <laughs> got them all. You ready to paint? Yes. Uh, do you, what do you think of them black? Oh, love it. I think it, some of you guys might think it stupid to do, but I think it makes it look slick. Heck yeah. It, it matches. matches everything. Yep. So. Does that look like it fits? All right, so I gotta cut a little notch. Oh, got it all wrapped up. She's uh, spraying the hard to reach places with the uh, spray can, but holy cow, I am very, very happy with this, with the way all of them came out. They look super slick. Got it all the way around over here. Uh, all of this up in the front. I mean, it looks good. It actually looks like we know what we're doing. Maybe. From far away with your eyes closed, it don't look bad. <laughs> now we're gonna let it all dry up and then we're gonna put some fence on it. Gonna stand on it, yeah. and I'm gonna pull it. Let's see. 
All right, guys, next day we are beat up. Yes. Uh, from fencing and stuff, and then we went to uh, the animal swap. We went and hung out with Paragon and uh, Paragon Ridge Ranch, yep. and we got uh, new chicken and stuff. So you guys want to check that out on the Crocker Life. Mm -hmm. A lot of the behind-the-scenes stuff's on there, uh, but so far this fence is coming out great. Yeah, it looks like we kind of know what we're doing. Yes, I am very, very happy. Uh, if you guys are wondering why we did it in sections, especially the uh, section over there, uh, we didn't know how to pull it, tighten it, pull it, tighten it, all in one strand. Mm -hmm. So we just did it the best way you possibly can. And I think that's the best way to describe homesteading, ranching, farming, whatever. Figure it out. That's it. Figure yeah. it out or hire it out. And we don't want to hire everything out. Is this as high as it's going to be? Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that. All right. So we high fencing or what? We have to. It's Lambo. So that's a three foot fence. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to come up about two feet, uh, maybe even three feet of barbed wire. Yeah. Again, we got this. So we got this at discount. So yes. that's why we're using the three feet. Yeah, we got this at a discount price a while back. We've had it since uh, the other property. We we're going to fence in a bunch of stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up quite high, just like the front of our fence is six feet. And this is three feet, so we'll come up probably about three feet uh, with that, and then maybe even more. We want, we're not gonna do the entire fence all around our whole yard like that. Yeah. Uh, the main thing is this area where we're keeping Lambo, especially at first, yeah. and uh, our goats and our guard dogs and all that. We want this spot right here to be fortified as much as possible. And then whenever we go out any further, it'll be normal fencing. We won't paint it all, we won't do all that. We just want this area to look really good, really slick, the best we can. And matches the barn i'm very happy with it mm -hmm. i hate doing fencing you love doing fencing she begs oh, me all the time thing ever we love our animals but we hate doing fencing mm -hmm. so uh, the rest of it we'll probably hire out but all of this we're trying to do ourselves. um i absolutely love the way it's coming out mm -hmm. again we're not pros we're just trying to do the best we can with the knowledge we can watch youtube videos figure it out learn what you can from us learn what you can from someone else learn what you can from the other person and just keep learning the best thing you do is find an old ranch in your town and they will tell you everything that's true that's how i learned how to do the uh the board sandwich thing to pull it years back so guys we're just trying to enjoy our life have fun uh, we're gonna spend the rest of the day it's actually great weather it's supposed to rain Beautiful. all week it's gonna suck for like five six days of rain so we're gonna enjoy the rest of our day hopefully you guys have a, uh, an awesome time we'll go live on uh wednesday and then uh, we'll post another video on friday but almost every day crocker life yep so we will be here until you want to watch us again.